Hey everyone, my name is Piotr, I'm an editor and a filmmaker, and this is an independent view on what's new in Premiere Pro. Or to be precise, what's new in the beta version and what's coming in this fall release. Okay, let's not waste time. First, Adobe is upgrading its text-based editing feature. It will now be able to detect automatically ums and ums and delete those with one press of a button. Now, before I show you how this works, I just want to briefly mention one thing. Adobe is not breaking ground with this feature. From their marketing material, you might think like it's something mind-blowing but really, they're just copying something that has been done by Descript some time ago. But I'm not saying that to criticize Adobe. I just want to give a credit to Descript because clearly Adobe has forgotten. <laughs> Having said that, the feature works and it works really well. Over here, I have a rough cut of my interview with an editing legend, Walter Merch. Once the transcript is ready, I can filter out filler words or pauses and then I can extract them from the timeline or lift to another track. I can also tweak the duration of what is considered to be a pause and in this case, we managed to trim two minutes out of the timeline. Pretty remarkable. And just as an example, here is what a filler word removal sounds like. Scene itself. I mean, D.D. Allen. Great audition, Adobe. Up to this point, I had to go to Descript to do it. Now I don't have to. I can stay in your very comfy ecosystem. <laughs> By the way, sorry if I'm sarcastic. I'm just like, I, I, I can't help myself sometimes. I still enjoy Premiere much than anything else. Just wanted to say that for clarity. The next addition is once again, not really an addition, but something that they have been doing on an external website and now they are bringing it into Premiere. So what's the news? We can have AI enhance audio feature within Premiere Pro. Basically, it's supposed to make any audio sound as if it was recorded in a professional studio. Just click Enhance. Hi, I'm Keenan Matthews and I'm a track coach. And adjust the mix amount. Hi, I'm Keenan Matthews and I'm a track coach. But what's actually new is that now Premiere will auto-categorize, auto-tag the audio clips. We haven't had that before. And by the way, both these features work in background, so we basically click and you can like, you know, continue working on the edit. And talking about that, we have to mention the promise they make that their timeline performance will be five times faster. I wish that's true. I think there is an apostrix here somewhere like explaining that it only works for certain codecs or something like that, but I'm not really sure yet. I might add the details later in the comments, so check out that section there. This leads us to color improvements. There are new consolidated settings in the Lumetri color panel, improved LAT management and relinking, automatic Tone mapping had been improved with three other methods and very long awaited quick time gamma ticks. Okay, next is effects manager. I think I will like this one actually. It's supposed to find incompatible plugins and fix the connection. Plus they also improved automatic recovery process, which was a little bit frustrating before. So now it's supposed to be more seamless. Okay, next we've got metadata and timecode burning effect. Looks like something we should have had for ages, but it's here, so let's celebrate. And yet another one are project templates. So now we don't have to keep like a template project. We can just set it up in Premiere. It's an improvement, really. I, I, I mean, I think it's a great idea. Seriously, I'm not sarcastic right now. By the way, on my Gumroad page, there will be a basic project that you can like take inspiration from. So basically you can import it, set the bin structure and sequence settings and so on based on this project and save it into the template in Premiere. Enjoy, it's completely for free. So again, that's new in the beta version of Premiere Pro. You can install it from Creative Cloud App and it's coming to the official version fall this year, so very soon. Visit my Gumroad page to get your essential motion presets if you don't use them yet. Adobe should make those default. Until Adobe buys it, it's pay what you can, so you can get it for free or you can reward me for my efforts. Obviously, I appreciate if you do, but anyway, that's new in Premiere. Let's remember that this is just a tool, so keep going, keep working on your projects and see you next time.